Welcome back to Learning Escape, and this time I'm going to show you how to create intertwined circles. Already made a video about intertwined objects, but we can't get away with the method that I've shown you there. This one asked me how to do it with circles. So let me just create a couple of circles and I give it a stroke and now fill. So I click on the X and hold shift. When I click on the color swatches to give it a stroke, let's say 30 millimeters, something like that on the object fill and stroke is fine. I press Ctrl D and I drag copies out of there. Let me group the two at the bottom, press Ctrl G, and then I use align and distribute on object, select it all. And I use this function, so now I know that the one on top is in center. We've got these three circles as a start. But let me go down maybe to 20 or 25. In this case I use millimeters, but you can use whatever you want. Let me give it different stroke colors, but always hold shift to have it applied to the stroke. Otherwise you're going to add a fill. The color doesn't really matter here, I'll just pick something that looks somewhat decent. Alright, we can use that. I want to create this intertwine effect. And if we just use right here this top menu, we can only affect the entire circle and not the segments of it. Let me create a new circle to show you the effect that I'm going to use. And then I place a rectangle on top. Both are selected. I hold shift when I click on both. I'm going to use division. This is what I basically want to have, but I don't want to have the middle line. So let me press Ctrl Z and I first turn the circle via yeah, stroke to path into a path. And now if I use division, I have the effect. So there is no middle line and I can create these sections of the circle that I need for the intertwine effect. There's another problem. Let me copy this one, press Ctrl D and I'll show you this. And I use the Bezier tool instead of the rectangle tool. I shift click and path and division once more. And if I zoom in, you can see that right here, there's this thin white line where I've made the cut with the division and some both sides. We can get around it, let me press Ctrl Z. And I press Ctrl D on the circle, so I've got two now overlaying. And I create once more this element with the Bezier tool. And I shift click on the top circle, path and division. And now I've got what I wanted. And the white line is gone. Because I've got the circle in the background. If I drag the circle out of there, you can see the white line again. But if it's placed on top of the other one, the white line is invisible. So that's the way to get around it. Now let us start with this element. I select it all. Path, stroke to path. And then I press Ctrl D. So I've got the same element on top. And now we can use the Bezier tool. Let's start with the first one right here. So the dark red is at the bottom in the first position. So we want to have it on top in the second position right here. So use the Bezier tool, cover this one. Let me give it a fill and you can see what segment I'm going to create. And then I shift click on the dark red path and division. Now I can select this element and use the top menu to put it on top. So it's bottom, top, and bottom again, and here. We need on top once more, so I'll use the Bezier tool. And shift click on the dark red element, path and division once more. Now I can select this segment and put it on top. So let's go to the next element, which is this light red. 
So it's on top first, and then we need it at the bottom. And it's on top again. And finally, it needs to be at the bottom. For the circle on the right bottom, everything should be fine now. That's top, bottom, top, bottom. Afterwards, you can select it or Ctrl G to group it. And this is how you can create these intertwined circles. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.